Welcome to the world of body on tip research, where we bring together engineers and cell biologists to better understand human physiology. With body on tip platforms, we aim to model the human body more accurately. My name is Sini Saarima and I will be your host for this series where we explore the world of body on tip. But what do we mean by body on tip? Well, let's hear it from our scientists. Well, body on chip is like a tiny lab that is based on organ on chip technology. It's essentially a mini version of us, of our complex organ system that is uh, made out of these individual tissue or organ compartments. As you know, cell is the basic building unit of a human body, so we are trying to imitate the human body by using those cells under laboratory conditions. No, we are not building human in the lab. We are leaving that part for the movie makers and producers. But what we are doing is actually creating models of human cells and their interactions to study the diseases, to understand them better, to produce some diagnostic and uh, therapeutic approaches. We are not building a human in the lab. We are building parts of human tissue. And then in body on chip system, we try to see how do they behave together in a coordinated manner. We are trying to mimic only small functional part of the body that is very temporal, it can't survive for a long, typically only a week, we can say. So certainly not. Well, the best role, of course. Uh, my tissue in focus is the liver, which is our largest internal organ, and it's also the main organ responsible for drug metabolism, for example. So what I do is I use liver cells that are deri derived from stem cells, and then I use organ on chip technology to mimic the natural environment of the liver. So a human body is not a 2D surface, but it's a complex 3D structure. So we aim to mimic the human body. We try to develop a 3D system where the cells can grow. And what I'm doing is to develop biomaterials, usually hydrogels, that uh, work as the matrix for the cells. My research focuses on pathological progression pathways of neurodegenerative diseases, in particular Parkinson's disease. So I am ma mainly developing tools for improving the diagnosis and therapeutic strategies for these neurodegenerative diseases. My project is at the University of Eastern Finland, but we are collaborating with Tampere University. So the project is on uh, using near-infrared spectroscopy for in-situ monitoring of cartilage tissue. My like, research is focusing on sensing and imaging technologies that how do, we, how do we control the conditions, how do we regulate temperature, pH, the gaseous environment, how can we look at the cells, how can we record the responses and, and so on. The chip is designed to have different sections, each representing a specific organ or tissue. These sections are connected just like organs in our body, allowing researchers to simulate how different parts interact with each other. So NAM is a term meaning new approach methodologies or non-animal methods. So it's a term that covers actually a wide variety of different type of methods. It can be cellular models or computational modeling or chemistry-based assays. So it's a sort of new set of uh, assays or methods that are used to replace animal experiments. So we are the developers of NAMS. So the work that we do here in the Center of Excellence of Body and Chip Research is in the core of, of developing these NAMS. Organ and chip technology holds a lot of potential and there's a lot of expectations also. We can build tissue-like structures. So this has been earlier possible only with animal models and now we are developing something new that actually can uh, mimic these organ-organ interactions with our organ and chips or body and chips. So this is the core that we do here uh, working with the NAMS. 
Body on Tip Research is exactly that. A leap forward aiming to reduce our reliance on animal testing and offering a more precise understanding of the human body. There are many, many organs and many tissue types that first of all we cannot uh, get from the patients. Many human diseases are actually quite hard to, to study with patients. You cannot give all medication, you cannot do all kind of tests with the patient. Stem cell technology allows us to, to produce uh, cells, so we do not only try to analyze individual cell types, but we try to make like, like tissues or organs where we have many tissue types. We can study like exactly what's happening when there's ischemia and myocardial infarction, either in heart or in brain, and how do those interact with each other. Uh, we know in the, with our patients that uh, they do interact, but we do not at the moment understand quite why and how it is. One uh, quite central one, in my opinion, would be the, the computational models as a tool to translate the findings from this uh, a body on chip or organ on chip context to the human or patient context, for example. I believe that they can also uh, help uh, to, uh, the wet lab researchers in, uh, in order to guide their future experiments based on findings of uh, computational models. We can test uh, some things quite rapidly in the in silico experiments that might be much more expensive to do in in vitro. Well, uh, from the computational point of view, I can say that uh, promoting digital twins uh, so that every one of us in the future could have a digital counterpart. There would be a very tailored patient-specific uh, treatment, optimized treatment with maximum efficacy. We try to uh, combine as many tissues to each other so we could mimic the body and the interactions between different uh, organs. So then we can better understand the different drugs in the, the normal um, function of, a, of an organ and in the pathophysiological situation, like in ischemia. From what we can gather, body on chip research isn't just about understanding the human body. It's about shaping the future of medicine. I hope this introduction to our field sparked your interest. In our next episode, we will dive deeper into the topic. We will ask our scientists about the concepts like neurovascularization, hypoxia and how they grew different kind of tissues. So see you in the next episodes and thanks for watching. <laughs>